you've now got a hero and platform. The next logical step is add more platforms. In this video, we'll use a simple algorithm to continuously add platforms that the hero can run on later. Let's see how. Initially, we're going to create platforms one at a time. We'll also have to keep track of the position where your last platform was created. You'll need two variables, last platform X and last platform Y to store this information. These variables also serve as the first position. We'll then use a for loop to create a lot of platforms. For each platform, we set the X position to be last platform X. For the Y position, it's not at all challenging if we place them all with the same value of the last Y position. The hero will be able to jump, so we can increase the difficulty by introducing some height differences. We do this by adding a random value to the last Y position. Set the Y position based on the last value and the range from minus 40 to plus 40. You'll then need to solve a problem introduced by random platform placement. Each platform will now be either higher than, level with or lower than the previous platform. And the randomness of it limits our control over where they'll be placed. New platforms may be too high or too low and could also be created beyond your screen. You need to make sure that every platform is placed in a visible position. And we'll do this by using a minimum and maximum function. The first minimum limits the lower bound value and the result passes to the maximum method for the upper bound value. We'll then create some gaps in the X dimension so that the hero has to jump from one platform to another. You can do this by adding a random X value to last position X. Thereafter, we'll put our hero at the beginning of the first platform. Let's save the files and check our progress by opening the index.html file in the web browser. You can see that some platforms are randomly placed on the stage. In this video, we've taken the game object and concluded it with well-designed platforms placed on the stage. You'll now be able to create running and jumping game levels with a random value. In the next video, We'll add collision logic so that the hero can stand on a platform without falling.